Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be testing out and reviewing the new Urban Decay Moon Dust Quad in Space Rider. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. All right, so Urban Decay has now released these Moon Dust Quads. I understand there is actually two different ones, but this one was available at Sephora Canada. The other one I think is just now available on Urban Decay's website, but not the Canadian website. So I only have this one, but that's okay because this is the one I actually wanted anyway. This is supposed to be a quad of their eyeshadow toppers. So this retails for $39 US dollars, 57 Canadian. This does have a 24 month shelf life and is made in Canada of Canadian and M ingredients. The Urban Decay eyeshadow toppers have been very very popular particularly in the shade Space Cowboy and that is actually in here. So I actually think this is a really clever release from Urban Decay. I know we give them such a hard time about releasing boring products all the time but this actually seems to make a really good sense to me. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is just this hard plastic on the back. It is just this black on the front. It mirrors the box and it is this really really gorgeous sparkly pink and it just does and it does just say moon dust. Here I believe the other quad is silver. So opening this up we have four different shades. We have Star Cowgirl we have Space Cowboy, the most popular shade. Then we have Wild Dipper Rides Again. And then we have Cosmic Space Dust. So I think what we'll do is we will look at some swatches. I will then show you some eye swatches. And then I'll just kind of create a look to wear for the rest of the day. I also want to compare these glittery toppers to some others that I have in my collection. So let's just hop right into it. Okay, so let's look at some swatches. We have Star Cowgirl. So that's really, really pretty. That's going to be beautiful for like that inner corner highlight, things like that. That would be really pretty on a halo eye just to add an extra bit of that halo effect. Then we have Space Cowboy, which I've heard so many people talk about. It's really, really pretty. Then we have Wild Dipper Rides again which is definitely more of a pinky shade. And then we have Cosmic Space Dust, which is actually deeper than the others. It's definitely got that deeper brown tone to it. So very, very pretty. So currently on my eyes, I just have some concealer and powder. I do wanna show you some eye swatches of these before I actually create a formal look. So let's just start with Star Cowgirl. I'm just applying this all over the lid. You do get a really nice little mirror in this palette as well. And I just feel like because these are supposed to be more glittery toppers, I think a finger is going to be the best way to apply these. Okay, so there we have Star Cowgirl. On the other side, we have Space Cowboy. That is really pretty actually. I have never owned this shade, but because it's been so popular and buzzed about this year, I was thinking about picking it up, but this is honestly a much better value than picking up their individual shades. And this is really, really nice. Okay, I'm kind of seeing what people are saying. It's a really, really pretty. It's got such a beautiful shift. It's incredibly sparkly. I'm definitely going to want to wear that one today. Okay, let me take these off. I'll show you the other two shades and then I'll actually create a look. Okay, so then we have Wild Dipper Rides again. This is definitely very pink compared to the others, but also very, very beautiful. All right, so that is Wild Dipper Rides again. Very pretty. And then the last shade is Cosmic Space Dust. This is also very pretty, definitely deeper than the others. I feel like it is brown, but it's got like sort of a greenish undertone to it. Also very pretty. I really like the range of shades that are in here so far. Okay, so let me take this off and then I'll come back and we will create an actual look. Okay, so I did just create a base with the Patrick Top Major Dimension 3 palette. This is such a staple. Um, 
so I have just created a light base, just a few shades in the crease in the inner corner. I should mention, I did forget to address whether there is fallout with this. There was. It wasn't horrible. I think if you are just using them as toppers, you're not going to get nearly as much fallout. Um, that being said, even if you do just want to wear these on the lids, you want to build them to that full opacity, you might get fallout. I would recommend doing your eyes first. I do want to try a brush. I want to go into Space Cowgirl. I want to use this for the inner corner shade. I just really wanted to see also how well these would pick up on a brush. It looks like the brush is picking up quite a bit and that's really pretty. Okay, I am going to grab Space Cowboy and I'm just going to lightly pat this one all over the lid. Space Cowboy really has that sort of wet effect type formula and I'm reminded of a shade in the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Okay, that's really pretty. Very simple. You can see it's definitely a lot more sheer. It doesn't really have much of a base to it when used this way, but it looks really, really pretty. It's definitely not overwhelming on the lids. I really love that wet effect. Okay, I'm thinking I might want to take a little bit of Cosmic Space Dust on the outer corner just for the interest of using as many of these as I can. That's pretty, but I feel like with the brush, I'm losing a lot of the shimmer and just getting a ton of fallout. Okay, so now I have a ton of fallout. I am going to clean this up. I'll be right back and then I will get into some comparisons. All right, so let's look at some comparisons. So two shades I wanted to look at right away were Space Cowboy and Cosmic Stardust because I've seen these before. And I have in the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. So the shade Sheen and the shade Delilah. Both of these are formulated to be sort of like a wet effect formula. This was a new formula from Natasha. And you'll see over here I have the Natasha shades. Over here I have the Urban Decay. Sheen from Natasha, Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. Then we have Delilah from Natasha and Cosmic Space Dust from Urban Decay. I do think the Urban Decay shimmers are quite a bit more textured. They definitely have more fallout than the Natasha. The Natasha ones really don't have any fallout at all. So I thought that was an interesting comparison, but those shades are very, very similar. I do think the Natasha shadows also have a little bit more opacity than the Urban Decay, whereas I feel like the Urban Decay particularly Space Cowboy, doesn't really have much of a base. So then I wanted to compare some recent shimmers I've tried out. So I've got the new Charlotte Tilbury palette, and while some of the shades almost look similar, this one has this shade here, which is Beautyverse, and it's a party topper. And that one is probably closest to this one from the Urban Decay, and it feels very, very similar in texture. Otherwise, the Charlotte Tilbury really isn't that similar. The shimmers in the Charlotte Tilbury are much more, have much more of a base to them and stand alone quite a little bit better and I think there's a little bit less fallout with them. From there, I also wanted to compare this to the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette because the shimmers in here are also much more of that topper type formula. I will say the ones in the Makeup by Mario feel softer to the touch. They definitely feel a little bit more powdery. And then in comparison, so we have the Urban Decay and we have the Makeup by Mario. I'm almost thinking the Makeup by Mario is a little bit more shiny and sparkly. So you can see we did get a pretty close match to Space Cowboy. Otherwise, there's some similarities. They're not identical shades, but I do think the Mario shimmers are a bit more shiny, a bit more sparkly overall. I would say for fallout purposes, they're pretty similar as well, but I do think the Urban Decay shadows are a little bit more dry than the Makeup by Mario. I also really, really quickly looked at the shades in the Patrick Ta palette that I reviewed in yesterday's video. These are fine. I don't really have any shade matches. I will say the Patrick Ta though is very, very, very messy, but also very pretty. I would say the Patrick Ta is also a little bit more sparkly. I would say the one shade that sort of has some similarities is probably this one. On here, the Patrick Ta actually seems to be a little bit more smooth than the Urban Decay as well. But 
don't be fooled, the Patrick Ta is very, very messy. And I also really quickly wanted to look at a loose pigment I have from Give Beauty. This is in the shade Twinkle. So this one is kind of similar to this one right here, but a little bit lighter. I do think this one has a lot more sheen and shine and sparkle to it. The ones in the Urban Decay are beautiful. I love how this looks on the eyes. I can see why everybody loves Space Cowboy for sure. And I do like the formula of these. I think they're soft. I think they work really well. And I think they're really, really pretty. But I definitely do have other formulas in my collection that are shinier. These are shiny too, but in comparison to some of the others I was playing with today, you can see that although these are super shiny, they're not that shiny when compared to the others. These tend to give a bit more of that wet effect. I would say the very closest formula was the one, were the ones in the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude, and I would say that was the absolute closest I came to duping these. So overall, I think these are beautiful. I think this is a great way to try out their Moon Dust toppers. I think if you are wanting to pick up one or two, I do think this is a better value. You get four shades. You can definitely use them however you want. You can use them to build up to full opacity. If you do, just do your eyes first because there will be a lot of glitter fallout. If you want to use them as just a topper, you can totally do that too and get a really pretty look. I would say Space Cowboy doesn't really have much of a base to it, so I think if you put it on top of another shadow, you might slightly change its shade, but it's really just going to add that wet effect sparkle. The rest of these have a bit more of a base to them, but also just a very similar wet effect type formula. Very, very pretty. All the shades are beautiful. I do think this is a great release from Urban Decay. I think it's a great product. And I think it really makes good sense compared to some of the other products they currently have in their collection. And I think it makes sense. I feel like sometimes Urban Decay doesn't show the most interest in keeping up with trends. I think this really does that for them. And I do think the packaging is super beautiful. And I think the formula is great. I do have some sparklier formulas, but again, that is all in preference. If you like super, super sparkly, you might prefer one of these other formulas. If you prefer something a little bit more subdued, but still pretty sparkly, I think you'd really like this. And again, if you're planning to pick up one or two of these shades, you might just want to grab this instead because I think it's going to end up being a better value at the end of the day. And I can see myself leaving this out on my desk just to reach for whenever I'm looking for that extra bit of sparkle. So I think this is wonderful. I think they did a great job with this one. Let me know down below if you're planning to pick this up. And that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.